do the right thing. Leave the signs alone. Let's get the election over and get everything done. There are only 41 days between now and the November election, and with tensions growing, some are reverting to stealing campaign materials. That's where we begin tonight. Thank you for joining us. I'm Rich Pierce. And I'm Kate Davison. As News 9's Gage Golding found out, this type of thievery happens every election cycle. Campaign signs for candidates running on both the Democratic and Republican tickets at all sorts of levels, including president, down to your local council, are being vandalized and sometimes even stolen. Recent reports of Joe Biden, Kamala Harris signs being stolen in the Bel Air and Shadyside area have some voters on high alert. Who knows took, who took them down, but uh, uh, we would like to see it stop if possible. Sign stealing isn't new, though. It happens every election cycle. In Jefferson County, the same is happening to Trump Pence signs. I don't think it's a huge problem. Um, we're getting some reports that, um, you know, some signs are being taken out of yards. There are some ways to help your campaign signs from being snatched. Don't put them in the right of way. The closer to your house, the better. And if you fall victim, don't retaliate. The last thing I would tell anybody is, well, you know, go take your neighbor's sign because of that. We like to be all adults and, and keep this, keep this a, a, as an election, not as a, a hate thing. So let's, uh, let's, let's keep things on the upside and uh, quit taking the signs down. The best thing to do if your campaign signs or political material has been vandalized or stolen is to call your local board of elections. And if you'd like to file a report with police reporting in Jefferson County for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.